right, hello, beautiful people of the internet. My name is Ryan. Welcome back to our Outer Wild series. My two options are to flee the ever destroying universe, destroyed universe, by seeking the eye of the universe, warp core, vessel, eye of the universe, hoping and praying that in a place of infinite possibilities, the one possibility that we land on is a good one, or I do not see an other, a different layout. What I do see is an option for more information. And here's the question. Am I going to play the DLC now? Or am I going to try to do it after, after getting to the eye of the universe? I'm gonna do it now. I think I have to do it now. I think that makes the most sense for me. That's, that is creepy. That's pretty fucking creepy. That's not how that should go. Oh, buddy. Ah, oh, buddy. Welcome. Oh, man. All right. Time for a whole new adventure. It feels really weird to say that. Welcome to a whole new adventure. We're going to do this in, in a systematic way, of course. That shit's going to break, right? Can I do a, a structural integrity test? 60%? Okay. We have some time then, it turns out. The garb is like similar enough. I think it's got to be know my ancestors. We're going to spend a bunch of episodes finding out. In a world where light matters above everything else, a lantern has to be. Yeah, we did it. Oh my God. Hurry up. No, it's not doing anything. Ah! We're going to get a absolute front row view of this, uh, of this thing. You guys ready? Yeah! <laughs> that is so fucking cool. Um, okay. What would Feldspar do? He just send it. What would Feldspar do? This one's got lights. Ah! I missed. Fuck. Oh no, please. It died in the water. No! The water. Oh no. Uh-oh. Oh god. Welcome to the ending of the universe from a whole nother a whole nother vantage point. But it shan't be ending forever. It shan't be. It may for some some time longer. <laughs> Let's go left. Let's go left. Hardcore left, hardcore left, hardcore left. Some text, potentially? Unknown fucking language, of course it is. Seven minutes-ish into a loop. Is the cloaking gone? Huh? No? All right. We have, let me guess, a fucking projection room. Is this a projection room? I swear to God. I'm gonna figure you out, you son of a bitch. They're an interesting people, these these unno unknownians. They won't like to watch a lot of movies. I'm gonna lose it. I have no idea. What do you do with this shit? Oh, a code, huh? You think you're fucking clever. Let's go. All right, what do we got? We got sun, fire, oval, fire? Sun, oval, fire. Oh, I should take a I should take a picture. Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. What are you? What what could possibly they be looking at out this window? Oh, I don't know, but look at this screen. It's got pixels on it. This thing right here looks like some sort of like probe and it's sending out signals potentially i'm gonna call it the claw for now the claw this sucker is one of the wheel things does this mean that you can no longer control it from that thing right there it's one of the the consoles man this is very abstract so far i kind of like it oh there's some right there okay this area is clear. All right, this thing, artifact. What the fuck are you, artifact? I kind of want to come back and see if it is deadened by water. Is there, would that make sense for why 
Parthians might survive on Timber Hearth. Giant's Deep is the place with lots of water, and there's still active ghost matter on Giant's Deep, I believe. I think on Gabro's Island, actually. Or at least, if not that one, then one of the other islands. Oh, man, I am confusion. It's not like there's that much. I'm probably thinking too much about this. Oh, I got no idea what these do. What are you? Someday I'm going to figure this out. Someday. <laughs> Wait a second. Wait a second. Did I know that this exists? Wait a second. Ah! Oh, that day is today. That day is today. That day is today. I gotta tell you. I have to tell you. That looks an awful lot like the marbled flooring on the hollow on the quantum moon when it's outside of the eye of the universe. Are you the eye of the universe? We have light coming from that eye of the universe signal. Little lantern fish minnow thingies and then you with lots of dots don't know what you are that's a moment later something's happening is it the si the, si the signal yo That, that ringed planet is not from our system. It's not the eye of the universe. It is uh, part of this this people's system. Is it frying their equipment? The symbol is coming into their little four prong or three pronged, their pronged instrument, like a reverse microscope, lighting a green flame, being focused into their eyeball. They're like owls. They're owls with the unknownians the owls owls with antlers they're freaking out they're saying fuck me ah they're, they're like i gotta go tell bob you will not fucking believe that come here the shit that is happening oh my god they are all coming everybody's staring pointing you can see where it's coming from oh the grasping hands What? Is the slide reel damaged? I think that's what it is. I think the slide reel is damaged. The music continues. Okay, it's heading towards the eye of the universe. And we are there. Yeah? And then it begins to cloak. So minus, minus this image right here, it begins to cloak. Okay. We have one set of signal of Dopplers <laughs> of radars, a second set of radars, and a third set of radars. Are they trying to triangulate the? Location of the eye? That looks creepy. Something closing. Green light behind it. Oh, creepy eyes. Oh. Very creepy. Okay. Uh, an unknownian walks up to a flame is burning in the top. Light is shining through the bottom. Apparently that sends chains around the tops of this thing. I love, by the way, that the unknownian's uh, method of communication is projector slide. It feels so perfectly in line with the like sort of retro futuristic uh vibes of this place check you in there all right let's see if anything's different about this one it's a different perspective of the same story i think an unknownian walks up fire light a second set of chains ah oh, okay it's not the same story it's a different story I cannot wait to get back to the ship log. What are they locking in there? They've lo they're locking something for sure, right? We got we got the first part of the story. Now we're going to get the second part of the story. Oh my god, it's at 1%. I don't know if this thing changes while we're reading. The Unknownians look out. They arrive in our galaxy, our, our system. They look out at the eye of the universe. They have a machine, a, a lantern, a scanner of some sort. It gives them a vision of... This is the place we're gonna be going here in a couple of episodes, by the way. That place, that red, 
mother void black hole whatever eye of the universe right there can't wait oh my god it looks so fucking creepy oh i don't know that i want to go Something radiates from the eye of the universe that destroys the systems around it. Ashes to ashes. Dust to dust. Oh, the welling. The eyes of this Unknownian look like they're welling up. Oh. Sorrow. Will they be comforted? They're being comforted. Oh. Oh. Is this going to be determination? From Ink. And this was the villain origin story of the Unknownians. Their eye. Oh no. Are they going to tear it down? Yo. They used f fucking flamethrowers on their, their version of an eye shrine. Wow. They got here and then realized somehow. I can't wait to read the fucking ship log here, bro. Holy shit. Realized somehow that, uh, that the eye of the universe would not be the answer to everything that they wanted, but would instead be some sort of destruction. What a, what a, what a neat idea, by the way. That the reason you can find jet fuel aboard the Unknownian vessel is because they employ flamethrowers. Oh my god. Also, look at this fucking texture. The rainbow, like, sheen. Oh, it's so good. It's so pretty. I want one of these to, like, hang up in my room so that I can I can fall asleep at night, like, you know, uh, pondering the eventual loss of everything that I know and love. Uh, you know, cheery, cheery topics. All right, well, let's continue on. I don't want to do a bunch of... Okay, well, there we go. Oh, yeah, I shorted out. <laughs> Ooh. Wait a sec. Whoa. An underwater cave. Holy shit. Oh, it's right there. I was going to say, where's the cave? I think we found it. Hey, let's go. Let's go. It's an extra slide reel. Okay, so this drawing, this painting... Shows the same tower aboard their home planet. It looks like. I keep calling them the Unknownians, and I really love that name. Uh, and we haven't been given a name yet, and I honestly don't know if we will at this point. But that might be super annoying to a bunch of you, and you might all be commenting about it, and I'm recorded ahead, and I don't know. <laughs> so. All right. What's this one? This is not a part of the same series. We have a green light with branches in front of it. Their tall tower. It's the same symbol that is on the tower, by the way. It's probably the same tower. Same painting. Ooh, I love this perspective. We're following it at a, at a distance. Looking over the shoulder. Oh, those eyes. That's a little creepy. At the planet. They grabbed... I fucking told you these were like windows. No shit. Did they walk through it? I'm freaking out. Sorry, I'm talking so loudly. I'm screaming. The very first thing I said about these is that they have the same shape as the doorway. They're like windows into other worlds. Did they travel through it? They take the light away and then they go? Oh my God. This is them departing. This is why there's no Unknownians here. Holy shit. Now I have to try it. It would be this one, I think. That's the only one with the, uh... <gasps> oh, God! That scared the fucking shit out of me! God bless it! Damn it! Oh, my Christ! Oh, I don't know why I just got so scared. Oh, no. Oh, my heart is beating so fast. Oh, that's so... Creepy looking! 
Oh, I don't want them to move. I hope they don't move. Oh! The dam broke. God fucking blessed. <laughs> you gotta eat a marshmallow first off. They have they have bracelets made of, of green glowing stones. They each are holding a lantern. There's one that's missing. They look desiccated. They look mummified. I can't tell if they're dead or if they're like in cryo sleep. I don't know why I'm so obsessed with cryo sleep in this game. None of them look happy. They all look pissed. And also they look hella dead. Why did they walk into here and sit there with the machines? God, tell me that isn't creepy. I'm so sorry I screamed. I think I screamed and then I cursed a bunch. Uh, but <laughs> tell me that isn't the creepy and the music got all weird and oh man. I don't ever want this game to end. I say that as a person who just like two episodes ago decided to do the DLC rather than pursue what appeared to me to be the main game ending. I say I don't want this game to end. <laughs> the other half of me desperately yearns to know what is at the eye of the universe and to know if I can do anything about the death of everything that I know and love and can I stop the sun exploding? Can I escape myself personally? Can I save anyone else? I want to know. I'm not avoiding the ending. I just... I am also very addicted to this feeling of like piecing together no game pieces mysteries together quite like this one all right beautiful locked off huh big chains by the way if i had to guess the vault would be below this part do i have to wait for the dam to break it huh Can I get in another way? I wonder if the sun gets smaller as we go here. That would explain these, which I'm calling basically thrusters, sort of like the boat has thrusters. I think the sun is getting smaller. Holy shit. Who's driving this thing? Maybe we're preparing for movement and we only start moving once the uh, actual enormous explosion happens. I don't know. Oh, that's dark. Oh, that's hella dark. Oh, buddy, that's dark. All right. What is this? I love these pipings. You guys just sit here and contemplate the ending of it all? I do too. You and me both. I think we're about to get an answer. That is smaller, but I'm also farther. I'm in a different position, so. As the sun gets more powerful on the way to blowing up, we get farther away. Here is the question. What is this line? It looks branchy. We'll be outside of it eventually. Is it the signal of the eye? Because the, the like waves of the eye have that we saw in some of the slide reels sort of expanding away. I don't know. Oh, buddy. Okay. All right. Shit. I'm once again breathing manually. Okay. Interesting. So, hold up. Holy shit. Interesting. I, uh, I can, technically, if I would like to, come to this corner. It's hidden so fucking well. And I can make it up top really quickly. Hey, look, the dam broke. Um, there is the vault, though. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. I don't know how I did that. All right, well, uh, RIP to that loop. RIP to that loop. Okay, we have a movie theater here. That means there has to be a slide, right? Did it fall into the water here? There's that right there. <gasps> what did I just see? What I thought I saw, let's go! This is the sealed vault. Now I can now I understand what this is. This is the sealed vault. It's got the three sets of chains. Something happened on the third thing. The third slide to lock it for the third time. So this one must be about unlocking it. Can't see anything behind it yet. There's some traces of images. Is it all burned? Imagine the whole thing is burned. 
No, you wouldn't do that to me. There's a bunch of unknownians in the back. Getting closer? Oh, and their eyes. Oh, that's so fucking creepy, dude. Uh, this is the building. This is the pier out front of the thing. They built a... They built their... Their vault. They lowered it. They walked away. Okay. Wild. Have you ever heard of... Breaking Dam? Oh, the speed up is nice. Oh, this is going to be the death of me. Please don't be the death of me. The water level's fine, actually. Yo! Oh, we are zooming now. Huh. I need a fucking boat. I just got rid of my boat. <laughs> that. Nope. It's a bang. We're inside of the sealed vault. And the universe is ending. All at the same time. Hello. Okay. Well, well, well. Log updated. Yes, it has been. I'll be dead any second, but... There we go. We're on the river! Alright, first stop. Ghost matter! Okay, so... If this ghost matter is gone, or affected in some way, that changes a lot of... There's some right there for sure. Yeah. Holy shit. The ghost matter is ineffective in water? Parthians were in water at the time. Oh my god, we figured it out! That makes so <laughs> Yo, that makes so much sense! Okay. Okay, so if ghost matter is ineffective in water, then it stands to reason when the interloper explodes, the ghost matter flying outwards does not affect Harthians who are under the water. However, it does land on our planet a little bit, which is why now we have we have ghost matter on our planet, but it it like which I always thought meant it, like, didn't target us or didn't kill us or something. But it's just that we, at the time, were tiny little four-eyed mudfish. And we hadn't come up, up from land yet. Oh my god, that's so... Okay. That has to be it. 100%. Go to the right, go to the right, go to the right, go to the right. Ah! Oh, we made it. Okay. It always feels like it's stronger than it actually is. Okay, so, new area, baby. Uh, that's an elevator. 100%. Let's go. God, I wish I could read the language. All right. Is that a boat? It kind of looks like a boat. It kind of don't look like a boat. It's a, it's a boat. I shouldn't have done that. Fuck. It, go up, go up, go up, go up. Oh, please, 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 please. Oh, thank God. Oh. This thing I can't get into. It looks like it goes from the other direction. So how does that work? Get a, a quick feel for this right side. Yeah, this. Oh, this might be something different, though. Here's one. Okay. Hell yeah. Hell yes. Oh, buddy, it is dark down here. Should have brought a lantern. Okay. <laughs> Perfect ending frame. Welcome back. In the last episode, we discovered this area. Uh, we also discovered... Uh, the water is the is the reason why... Did I just open that with the light from the scout? Oh my god. I didn't even realize you could solve the puzzle that way. Wait a second. I'm pretty sure I did. Wait, that's so funny. I didn't realize I was looking at a puzzle and I accidentally just solved the puzzle. Oh, buddy. Uh, I kind of want to just set it out here real quick while I go in here. Is that a dumb, is that a dumb, dumb decision? I hope not. Ooh, see, here's the thing, though. Is that I now know what to do with you. Okay, so this is not a safe area from water, apparently. Imagine if they just gave you, like, a bucket at this stage of the game. 
they were like, listen, you're, you've been used to using signal locators, high-tech uh, equipment. And then they were like, all right, here's your high-tech piece of equipment. A bucket with which you can destroy ghost matter uh, or, or make it ineffectual. Hello, I would like to see a movie. Ah, uh, yes, a movie. Okay, we have a door here. Maybe there'll be a lantern down here. No lantern, but a shit ton of slide rails. Oh my god. This one just says... Has this. This is its first screen. Is that a spark? Blue. Green. And then it's sort of low. This is the vessel. We zoom in. Okay. A change in perspective. I like how you can get closer if you really are concerned. It's the same set of things. And then we go through it again. Oh, buddy, I got questions. All right. This is the third one in the series. Unknownians. An unknownian, at least. This is the sort of, like, light. Yeah, the, like, weird projector that we saw once already. Making the third thing. It looks like they're truly crafting it out of nowhere, right? Staring at our solar, uh, our system. Some of them leave. They sit down to watch. <gasps> Those are uh, dragonfly looking things. To watch very intently as they look at their home. Memories of home? Oh, they're distraught. I love this sound. I, I said it last time, but I love this sound for disintegrating or burned tapes. Okay, so in the little ritual places or, or sleeping places or whatever, they go in. They each have their personal projectors. Ooh, do you see the one with the broken horn? The four, uh, second from the right? Close their eyes. No one has lights. As the light comes, they sort of uh, uh, scrunch over. That's such a lovely little animation. God, the le the amount of interpretation that interpretations there could be right now for what's happening are so much. I think the way I read that is they're they're sending themselves into a sort of like trance uh, or waiting sleep coma um, in order to pass the years. I don't know how that works with their personal projectors. I think I have to get some fire in it. And I think one of the ways I could do that would be over here. And I don't, I don't know what's going to happen though. And I'm a little bit nervous. That doesn't seem smart, right? Like, <laughs> but I don't know. I don't know how this works. Hmm. I can roast a marshmallow. Can I put the marshmallow inside of the thing? So how the fuck do these things work? They went to sleep, but then my read obviously is that they went to sleep and then so much time passed or whatever that they died. Um, can I, can I doze off while holding it? That didn't appear to do much. <gasps> it did what? It didn't appear to do much. You know what the fuck? Oh, it's just a lantern. Okay. I decided to look down at my feet to make sure I was still Harthian. Oh my God. Am I scared? Am I going back in time? Reduced frights. I should have turned it on. <gasps> oh, it's beautiful. It's turning. I think the music might be happening too. I don't have a jetpack. <laughs> I can't believe I almost didn't try dozing off with it. What? What? That is gorgeous 
It looks like the cover of Space Jam a little bit. Uh, okay. That's the end of the loop. Shit! Oh my god. I wondered when we were hearing music. What an incredible loop. Oh my god. We traveled back in time? Traveled somewhere else? Traveled fucking somewhere? I don't know. Endless Canyon. God, the names are so good. I've been feeling like the ship log is more and more important for this section where I don't actually get any text and I have to sort of interpret what I'm seeing in a more visual way. An explosion blowing a hole in the side of the stranger. Is that what this is example A. Is that what it is? I felt like it burned so, like a lens or something, but I didn't know it was an explosion. Endless Canyon, a massive canyon that stretches into the distance. A candlelit lodge is built into the far cliff face. There's more to exp Yeah, I know. This is creepy. Oh, this is very creepy. This place is fucking huge. All right. With enough boost, I can I can make it in here. Now, if I open this, am I breaching? Yes. There. Okay, so you're an unknownian. You grab your normal lantern, you walk into this place. You set the lantern down. The lantern doesn't matter, I don't think. Blue, red, greeny, grainy place. You wake back up, and you hold your lan lantern aloft. But nothing changed in the... What's your memory here? This seems like a record of a memory, right? An artifact again. Is it going to show the difference between the two? This teaches you how to do it. This room teaches you how to do it. And they give you one so that you can do it right there. So the other thing we want to do now is we want to try looking, dozing off at a fire with a different type of receptacle. But I want to understand what it is that I'm doing before I do it on accident, you know? This is the outside perspective. You go in there, looking through that person. Those is off, wakes up. They didn't, it wasn't good enough. I think the insinuation there is that it was not good enough. They shake their head disappointedly. And what we saw on the other end of the perspective was like a red and blue fog or graininess, static. This is a, Thing with without the grasp it is burned i don't know what that insinuates but to me it insinuates a fire cool we're getting good music now significant story moment yeah the graspy ones that's the one you need the graspy one i made it to the place holy shit i thought it was blocking the thing <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, the cliffside place. Ooh. Another, another I shrine question mark? And I, it seems like this place might have slightly been built to sort of imitate their home at least a little which is really trippy to think about and then fire i fire did they use the same password shit oh maybe it's hidden in the endless canyon part of it maybe it's time to go back God, that no that's still creepy Ooh, still creepy. Still very creepy. Ah! I just want to stare at that forever. Truly forever. There's just never enough time in this game. Okay, we look like we might be inside of the same type of thing. <gasps> I fell. Oh! 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 Oh, it's much louder out here. When you die in the game, you die in real life. Except you don't die in real life. 
We're gonna die to the time loop, and we're gonna come back as soon as we can. If the there's gonna be a, a screech up here. No. Normally there's like an animal screech right out here. I feel like every time. Where to first? Oh, the amount of lights I just turned on. Holy shit. Looks like a concert hall. God, this place is unsettling. It's beautiful, uh, but it's truly, truly unsettling. Oh, that's like a hand. Oh, that's very creepy looking. Okay. Oh, oh! Huh. These Unknownians are pretty, uh, pretty handy with the technology. <laughs> Oh, I'm so I cracked myself up. Oh my goodness. Goodness gracious. Y'all got any slides in here? Oh, you. There's a slide. Oh, there's a slide and there's a shadow. Am I going to be able to meet one? Oh, I don't know that I want to. There's got to be one directly beneath me. Just on that shadow. And we're instead, we're going to march every single direction around it. Oh, it's so tantalizing. I shouldn't have done that. The water's cool. I'm cool in the water. Oh, it went out. There's this, which feels special. Am I going to get to walk through this? I can't be the only person who walked headfirst into this thing, sort of hoping I would get platform nine and three quarters into it, right? There's no way I'm the only one. What am I going to make for myself? Oh, a boat. Oh, here's the problem. Is it coming right to me? Oh, hell yeah. I thought I was going to have to get in the water. <gasps> what happened? <laughs> what happened? I just, I just turned the candles off. Was that dumb? Ah, oh, that was probably dumb, wasn't it? Shit. I didn't know the candles made it float. Oh my god, I'm going to have a heart attack. Oh, buddy. Oh, just go. Yep, go fast. Oh, buddy. Okay. Oh, I heard that noise and I didn't like it. Exactly what's happening here. Take your thing. Step out. This is on the, yep, this is on the, I wondered. It reflects backwards. Go to sleep there and it wakes you up. What did it give you? What did it give them? Huh? It looked like a boat. My theory that the Endless Canyon is a sort of dream you fall asleep at a fire, you, you go into a dream. It doesn't make a ton of sense because those people pulled back, those people brought something back physical from, the Unknownians brought a physical vault back from a dream. So that wouldn't make any fucking sense. Okay. Because they scare me. Place there. The reflections are so beautiful. Okay, we're going to jump off right there. We have a little cave here. Oh, I don't know. I want to go into the cave. What if I want to just stay in, inside here in the base of the tree? I swear I'm hearing creepy noises. That's one of them. Okay. That was like a sonar-y sound almost. I want to say owl sometimes, but... <laughs> How the fuck does this work? There are doors that I can't figure out. Fucking fucking shit. Okay. No bueno. How would I how would I solve this? Here's my one thought. I think I can actually take away this bridge again. 
I wonder if it's possible to fall. Fall forward and then back, right? You'd think it would be like basically right here, yeah? This is gonna be the dumbest thing I've done all, all day. Hey! Oh! Did I just die early? That felt like I died early. No. I'm dying before I hit the ground. Why does this... The paranoia is back. Does this matter? Uh, probably not. Why do I care so much? I don't know. Am I grasping at straws? Probably. Which way is the way out of this circular building? I don't know. So the, the solution isn't... I don't think the solution is to fall from here. That's not working. I think the solution is to find... Is to discover a new place inside of the lodge. Which allows me to travel back towards where I am. Back across. Another bridge. All right. All right. I think we're going to go back to the stranger and try some different approaches. Trying to figure out what happens. All right. This one, it's the one with the planet, right? It's the one right here. All right. Let's see what happens when we sleep here. If I ain't pop out at the exact same place, by the way. Thank God. Maybe it's just that I can't open all the other doors and I have to get to them from other fires. Maybe that's what the point was the whole time. Oh my God. Oh, that's it. Oh, that's a stairway to, oh, stairway to hell. Okay, incredible. I don't get it, but it works. So who, who cares? I don't know. Oh, this place is huge and I am getting slightly overwhelmed at it already. All right. Okay, we're wandering a lot. Let's do this. Let's go down one level. Oh, incredible. Whoa, yo, very cool. We're learning. We are learning very slowly. What I was going to say is, I don't know if we found all the fires. If I remember correctly, in one of the slide reels, it says that three, there are three places where the Unknownians like go to gather themselves. So we have the Island Tower. We have the Hidden Gorge place. And then I think there might be one more. Back in. Oh, the stomping. Oh, it's so fucking creepy. Oh, I don't like it. Oh. I know a damn I know a thing or two about those kind of candles. Okay. So that is the tower on board Stranger. That is the sun that they make aboard the Stranger. <laughs> this is the building where the clomping happens above you. Uh Yep, there's the clomping. We've been there. There's like sections of uh, these unknown buildings that I don't believe I will ever access, but currently I also cannot access them. And what is really cool about that to me is it makes it feel like I am an intruder. Because I sure as fuck feel like one so far. Oh, buddy. Speaking of being an in <gasps> intruder! Y'all chilling? Y'all cool? We all cool? Is that why they died? There is ghost matter aboard the stranger. So maybe they didn't die of old age. Maybe they all died because they were dreaming. It went, did it again? No. Listen, I'm concealing. I'm being a sneaky boy. At least we know what the fuck these things are. So I think these guys maybe died to ghost matter. I mean, there's only a little bit of ghost matter aboard the ship. I wonder if there's a speed run for uh Outer Wilds, except you have to have a burnt marshmallow eaten. No, that's a dumb, that's a dumb uh, rule you're saying. Listen, you don't know me. I like the taste, carcinogens. <gasps> Yo. Haha, -ha, 
we got you. Let's go. This looks burned. That's another eye of the uh, eye of the universe symbol. Yeah. Oh, buddy. Imagine if I could use you. I think I'm too short. So I wonder what the fuck this part's for. I mean, it doesn't necessarily have to be for something, but like. <gasps> oh! Oh! Sh oh my God! Fucking Jesus! Sh All right, that worked. That was an accident, but it worked. I was just sort of looking around. Oh, it's all the. Oh, it's creepy. So this is how we... Why are they going? Why are the elevators just going crazy? Oh, please don't kill me. Oh, thank God. I'm creeped out. I'm so creeped out. Yo, you motherfucker. Oh my god. All right, I'm gonna talk as we do it. What the fuck? They looked so mad at me. I feel like I disappointed my dad. The Unknownian seems so mad at me. Listen, I'm not trying to fuck over your village. I think this is gonna be one of those situations where the light off is the way to go. Oh my god. I'm very determined to beat this now. To beat this right now, because uh, I do not want to do this any more than I have to. We're going to beat this right now, and then we're never going to come back here. We have no time. I can't tell where I'm going. Oh, God! Jesus fucking shit! Oh, my God! Oh man, I hope you guys are laughing really hard. I hope you guys are laughing so hard because I'm so... <sighs> Which is worse. Why is this game doing this to me? Outer Wilds, I love you so much! All I ever did was love you! All I ever did was become obsessed with you! And it's a goddamn good thing I, I'm obsessed because otherwise I would not put up with this shit! Oh my god, it worked. Please, dear god. There not be something scary here. They made a horror game sequel to this DLC to this goddamn game. I'm trespassing, you know? Nope, 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 nope. Stick to the dark, stick to the dark. Go. Run. Run, run, run! Cover the thing and run! Oh my god. Oh. The time hasn't ended yet, and I'm a little nervous about that. Insert artifact? <laughs> That's good, too. Uh, okay, I think I'm safe right now. Okay, we're gonna go quickly here. Oh my god! I'm freaking out. This looks like the Eye of the Universe symbol. This is the one we watched. They were searching for it. They were searching for it. Maybe. And then it disintegrated everything. And it disintegrated them. Eye of the universe equal bad. <laughs> is the thesis statement of this one. They're crafting. The thing which you uh, sent out to track the eye and it's sending green vine talent antlers around it and then flooding it. This is the thing which they lost power over, actually. 
They cloaked it. Oh, my stomach hurts. Which is the most on-brand thing I've ever said is little indigestion. The Nomai, the Nomai know what I know now, which is that the symbol, I have chills. The symbol stopped. The signal, sorry, the, sig the signal stopped. The eye of the universe's signal stopped calling out to them. And it's because the Unknownians capped it, uh, uh, cloaked it. This one I don't know that I've seen before. It's a glitchy homeworld, a glitchy moon around it, and a fire. Ah, okay. So there's a dead Unknownian right, uh, live Unknownian on the right. The alarm bell clang clangs and sends out echoes. Which returns them to... All right, it wakes you up. Sure. The brain isn't alive. This is a funny diagram, actually. <laughs> this brain... I, I hate to laugh at it, but this brain... No brain, no good. Brain broken. Meaning they can stay... So here's this part. No, sig no signal is getting back. Does that mean that they stay alive? All right, so... Artifact and brain connection. Dome is on. Person sits in the thing. All's asleep. That's the breathing chest. More rhythmic things are happening. Which puts the fire on. Which sends them to this place. Ah. It's an elderly Unknownian. With a cane. They fell. They died. The fire's still lit? Sleeping. You can still light a fire. Dying. You can still light a fire. Sleeping is a form of death? Uh, death is just a form of sleeping? That's weirdly comforting. I think that we might be in a sort of unknown in heaven. Listen, friends, I understand you now. We have no reason to be mad at each other. Sure, I broke all of your shit. And sure, your alarm has been sounding. Alarm's going off. Wake people up. That's fine. It does explain why they're dead, but they're still alive, right? Yo, hold up. Oh no. We've been falling asleep there? Wait a second. We have a whole new one? Oh fuck. I totally blanked on this. It would be this one, right? Is it the one where the planet is actually there? You All right, welcome to a new area. Oh my God, I know I'm wasting time, but I'm fucking so scared. You can maybe tell my movements are getting all jittery. I. Okay, so this would be a place to make a Nope. There's a door. So now, what happens if I do this? This place still freaks me out. It's open. Huh. So that's sort of uh, an unsatisfying answer for, <laughs> for how to open that door. You have to be on this side. I mean, it makes sense. It can only come from one direction here. There's, there would be no, there would objectively be no reason this is me just full on bargaining with my brain to be like, please don't have a panic attack right this second. There would objectively be no reason. No extra areas get. Oh. Oh, the dam breaks and this one goes under. It's that quick. However, did we leave the door unlocked? Oh shit. I don't know. I can't wait to have a better understanding. I think I've said this in like three straight episodes, but I can't wait to have a better understanding of these Unknownians and what it is that they learned at the eye. It's okay. It's okay. Time is always a little bit, a little bit on short supply here. Right there. God damn it. Oh, he's walking right there. That's so fucking creepy god damn it oh i maybe should just go it's got to be more than one though right this looks like a path on this island i can't see anything that's actually okay that's 
the overall thing. It's actually worth doing. Uh, fucking shit. And we're about to be knocked out. What just happened to that guy? I mean, the water happened, but what made it happen? Uh, like, what's the effect for them? Okay, so now I can come here and go here. So maybe that's what this is for. Okay. So now the question is, are there any Unknownians left on this area? Because they should have all disappeared. Yes. We missed a hole in the middle of the ground. Yes. Hell yes. Hell yes. I'm going to go quickly. Anyway, the vibes I'm getting from Unknownians are also like lots of scientific. Yes. Okay, we made it. Lots of, uh, s like, scientific curiosity, for sure. They did experiments in the, uh, with the lanterns and the, and the fire, you know. Lots of art and, mu art and music appreciation, for sure. A big-ass fire. Can I do anything with this? I don't know that there's anything I can technically do here, but I'm so curious. Why would they bring me here if not? It really doesn't seem like there's anything to do here. So why does it matter that I got here? They wouldn't put nothing here. I mean, it doesn't make any sense to jump into the fucking fire. But there was nothing else here. Maybe there doesn't need to be. Maybe the fire was the information. But, I don't know. This seems like a hell of a dumb one. This is the dumbest thing I've ever done. All right, well. Something's happening. Oh no, I waited too long. Okay. Without burns. Because there's limited time in the fuck. I hoped. Saturn kind of. Um The eye is sending out a signal. The Unknownians see it through their somebody the funniest comment I've ever seen on <laughs> an Adderwilds video. I called this like a backwards microscope. <laughs> the first time and people were giving me shit about not calling it a telescope <laughs> anyways um they freak out they bring others over look look it's coming from there they're reaching for it oh they destroyed their home they destroyed their home to build the stranger the fish are dead in the river Oh my god. A cautionary tale. The Unknownians. That looks like pollution in the sky. The writing of this game, man. It's not even writing writing. It's just the fucking... The omission. What you, what you tell via omission versus what you tell... Okay. So this slide is about a computer glitchy version of Saturn. This is where I am right now. This is where we are. There's like code on the upper part. The language that we, that I see, it looks like it. I mean, it, it, I think it's code basically for what's happening here. It's being modeled. We're not in a dream. We're inside of a program. I mean, program simulation. When you're in the blackness between sections, you're in a loading. <laughs> Error. Yeah, sure. There's an error if you step off. I hear you, but now I kind of want to try it. <laughs> uh, okay. All right. Ooh, buddy. Uh, this is where I was. I think we're somewhat close to the Forbidden Archive, so it doesn't make sense to go to those two areas. All right, let's try this first. Then we'll go to the place with the three platforms. Okay, so what do you do? So here's the question. Did I actually make it to the secret vault? Is that what this is? This is an extinguish? Yo. One of the locks is extinguished? Holy fuck.
the tower. What am I looking at? A light came on. Two lights came on. A third light came on. Light came off. Is it just that I have to have all the lights off in there? Let's do it. Ah, we're sending it. I don't know what this is going to do. Hey, fuck. We don't have a lot of time. This is the place. This is the place. We're inside of that one world. Is this the elevator to the secret part of the first? Nope. This is just where I went. <laughs> this is how you get to the shit I was just at. All right. So then we need two codes to solve these. We must have a code to, ah, we need a code to make a walkway. And we need a code to turn off the alarm or the light. Probably the light. I think I just need the, is it? I need the, I need everything on except for the two by the door is what the vision shows me. They are, thank Christ. All right, cool, hell yeah. So, yes. Oh, this is fantastic news, okay. Oh, buddy, now I'm nervous. So now we need to now we need to pass out so that we wake up. All right. Yes. Another stairway down? What the fuck? How many rooms are in this? Oh my god. How many rooms are in this tower? Please be an answer. Please be an answer. You. Yeah, let's go. That one's burned. That one's burned. No, I needed this one and I needed the three one. Also burned. And we know how it was burned too. Fuck, okay. However, this is the one we already know, right? I'm gonna take a photo of it just to be 100% uh, safe. Um, uh, same one and then star star. Light at the top went off. Okay, hell yeah. Hell fucking yeah. Ooh, I'm nervous. Yep, yep, yep. All right, so we take this, we put it here for sure. So we have, I think that might be the very first place you enter. The very first place you enter. Okay. We have the Cinder Isles area or whatever it's called above the movie theater, which is right here. And then, yeah, I know where this is. This is the cinder, this is Hidden Gorge. Uh, this is the elevator room. And there's a slight soft, there's a room off to the side. I'll tell you what, one of them's right there though. That, that, oh yeah, look at it, right there. It says it, it actually says it. That's a, a symbol. I could try jumping it. All right. Submerging the, the structure. Oh, the open mouths are so fucking creepy, dude. Oh, I don't like it. They're going to go to their slides and they're going to burn them. They're stacking them up, carrying them. Going to get the uh, flamethrowers out. They're going to pull one out and then they're going to burn them. No? They burn most of them and they selectively burn some others. What if we brought it up? Or we just did this. That was dumb. Okay. Well, we could have just done this the whole time. No, I was right there. Okay. Give me information, information, information. I need a code. I need a... I got a slider. I got a slider. I got a slider. I have no fucking time. Ah! Oh, that's so creepy. If I put it back, does it look different? Oh my God. We did figure it out, but well, we know what to keep doing. So how do we read this? Like in what way do we read it? Three unknownians with some sort of antlery green viney th thing around a signal. What I would call a signal or, or an echo. This is inside of the 
simulation. Going into the lodge, through the fire. Cool. So here's the shit. I know that one. Oh, that looks like a cave. We should just send it. Oh, I'm so glad we sended it. <laughs> we sent it. Send it. 10%. Uh, we gotta get this and get out of here. Get the fuck out of here. See ya. All right, number two. Where'd you take this shit? Okay, so there's the tower. We're sitting at the telescope. This is, it turns out, the stuff that I've already seen. This is incredible. Did we do all this in the wrong order? Okay, so the third one. Where are we? Hand over the like stone tablets. They look like 10 commandments, stone tablets. Yes, this one, this one I have no fucking idea. Okay. So you just walk on an invisible bridge from the place? Yeah. What the fuck? With the two candles. Insane. All right, cool. Very cool. Very cool. Slowly but surely, this DLC falls before me. It's not falling before my intelligence. It's falling... It's falling before my persistence, I guess. But we're getting there. These lights are definitely leading you somewhere. And it turns out... Just leading you across. You can walk on it. Uh, we should extinguish. And then I think what's going to happen. Oh, I didn't think about that. Oh, no. I just realized. We're going to have a we're going to have a horror movie again. Oh, no. I don't want to do this. Oh, my God. I'm fucking terrified. All right. All right. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. We go quick. They're not that scary. They're so. F Hundred percent. This was closed. They were like sleeping or whatever right here. Hundred percent. This was closed. Yeah. <coughs> ah! Uh oh. This is oh uh, no. This is my nightmare. That's the thing happening to the overall stranger. Okay. There is a gap right here that I can walk through. Oh, God. Nope. 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 No, oh, God. He. Oh, Jesus. I don't know what I even said there. Oh, damn it. I think it's right there. The, uh, the place I'm going. Nope. This is it. No. No. Ah! Run. We run. We run. I'm faster than you. I'm not faster than you. This is terrifying. This is worse than... This is worse than... This is worse than anything. Oh, but I already did it. So you can't take it away from me. So it's fine. Oh, there's a nobody right there. Oh, our Unknownian right there. Hell no. Hell no. Did you see that? I was walking down into the bottom room and I was like, you know what I remember about this bottom room? I think I remember that there was a door at the other end. And it would be a hell of a place for them to like store an unknown in, you know, the last boss of this area. Oh, this is so tantalizing right now to see all of these slide reels and to have no time to read them. This was them. This is the one looking at our system. Playing memories of where they were and then going to build a simulation.
building a simulation. All right, we go again. Let's go again. That's a fucked up sound, turns out. Can I walk straight forward? Let's try. Nope. Okay. Listen, I want to be your friend! It's actually not all that hard of a puzzle. He says, wincing, knowing how how difficult it just took. It took him 50 minutes to do it. Missing. They see, it, it appears to me like they see the glory of our star system, or they see the glory of a system, the life of it. And then they remember home, and they remember those little flying things, and they weep, and they despair. Hey, there's the broken antlered one, by the way. Oh, they're so sad. And then they boot this sucker up. With power coming in, they are coding or making tree ring ringed planet fires. They sleep, the fires go on. They turn into a weird ghost thing, an isometric ghost thing when they walk out of the range of their artifact? It's my artifact. I'm not about to try that. What the fuck? There's the vault, by the way. Okay, so we know where we are. There's the vault or the submerged thing. This. Do you think there's an invisible walkway across to it? No, there wasn't. How do I get there? Oh, I hope I didn't run myself out of time. Also, what the fuck happens if I set my artifact down? That stuff's all closed. <laughs> what? Oh, I'm sweating. What? I was just wondering if there were lights. Or oh my god. I'm running because there's not much time. And it's fucking... Oh, that is so creepy. Imagine coding this game. You're telling me I can just do this everywhere? Let's see. You can. What the fuck? We have a whole new tool under our tool belts. Can you imagine the first time we were walking around in this, uh, the first time we walked around in this place? Look at the Nomai, right? Or the Unknownian right there. I also don't know if you'll see me. You will grab me, I believe, but... Oh, there's one right in front of the door. <gasps> you shut me in here? Oh my god, there's so many of them. Oh, this is creepy as hell. I should go up to the second level. Oh my god, there's so many of them. Whoa, 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 whoa. I got a Steam achievement called Oof Ouch My Bones. Here I was talking about how peaceful they are and then they fucking, that one was like, oh, you don't have a lantern for me to blow out? Let me, it sounded to me like he, they, they chomped on me, like they chomped my head off. Can I set my artifact down on this water? I fucking can. So first things first. Let's look at all of these. That one does not appear to have anything cool around it. In fact, it's got little walls around the outside. So if I were to fall over into it, I don't think that I could actually fall out or, or climb back out. Same with that. Probably the same with this. If, oh man, if there's nothing here that gives me a clue on how to proceed forward, I don't know what to do. Uh, we extinguish the thing. So here's what I want to do first. Oh man, I don't know. I don't think that's... I think those just move into... Oh no. <gasps> no shit. <laughs> Oh, I've, I've flip-flopped once again. They definitely don't want me to... The Unknownians definitely don't want me to solve this, uh, solve this problem. I have to solve it in this way. How do I solve this last puzzle? I wonder if I have what I need. 
I didn't actually need a code. It's so beautiful that I didn't need a code to solve that one, right? Yeah? Now... That's gonna wake me up. Is it the moment when power flickers in the game? In the stranger? I think that was the power going out in the stranger. Or the power flickering. But I don't think the light went out. <laughs> How the fuck do we solve this? You know, one thing we don't understand was this thing. Do they shadow themselves some well, somehow? How would how would you how would an unknownian get across that thing? I don't know. Maybe the, maybe the alarm system doesn't go across, go off for them. Here's the other thing, right? Is that I don't know if like is there anything I can do? Am I just gonna burn? Can I pass away, please? Thank God. Okay. Um, is there anything I can do? They could also, I believe, die while they were dreaming and and get to stay as a simula stay inside of the simulation after death or whatever. Um, I don't exactly know about that. They also conducted some experiments on this whole how the simulation thing worked. Some experiments went okay. Some went less okay. They blew a hole in the side of the ship. Yeah, that's okay. Uh, what am I missing here? What am I missing on the overall picture? I have a list of questions, but my, my two main, my two only real questions left for this DLC are, at this point, are what's in the vault? And frankly, here's the other thing. What could possibly be so terrible? After all of the stuff that we've learned about these Unknownians, what could possibly be, that wasn't hidden inside of the vault, what could possibly be so terrible that it needs to be hidden inside of the vault? Cork board. All right, I think it's gotta be this. Oh my God. Intact slides reveal the construction and launch of a spacecraft designed to block the ice signal. I found a slide reel that shows two artifacts being lit near a green fire. The first artifact lights after its bearer falls asleep. The second artifact lights after its bearer dies. Welcome to the end of the DLC, maybe. I have no idea. I know what that means, of course. I, I can't be woken, but I can't be woken by the alarm bell if I can't wake up. Oh, buddy. Light my fire. Come on, baby. Light my fire. Let's go. I'm freaking out. What's so bad that they would seal it in this vault? You know what else is on my mind too? It's it's that it's that like how do you pace how do you pace a game this well when the puzzles are as open-ended as they are? Because it was just in the in like basically I think the last episode, the last recording, that to me I finally arrived at what I would call like a sort of sense of peace around the unknownians and the like more horror elements of this game. I I started off and I was just like, oh, it's terrifying. It makes them seem so scary and so mean and so... And I think that like our full picture of the Unknownians... My picture of the Unknownians is now so round. You know, it's not, it's not a flat image of the characters of the Unknownians, but it's round now because, because of the fact that, you know, because of everything, right? Because like, I have to phrase this before I move on because it's so important to me. With the Nomai, you have this upstanding race, this upstanding be these upstanding beings who had, a, had like a sort of noble quest and sort of failed, but mostly failed to find the eye of the universe, uh, but failed in such kind, like such, a, such a, a redeeming way, right? They failed, but not because they didn't, not because they did the science wrong, not because... They, they tried so hard and they and they tried to be ethical along the way and they etc 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 and then the interloper came and the random the random factor of the interloper killed them all and so you have that like sort of tragic heroic story and you have a different tragic heroism i think with the unknownians which is that they found the fucking piece of knowledge that the nomai wanted to reach and they made mistakes along the way to get it and then they had to live with themselves afterwards. And I cannot wait to find out what a troubled people like that hid inside of this vault.
in some ways, the Unknownians are the more relatable, I think, if you're a human in 2022 living in this fucked up world that we live in. We've got a sort of fucked up history. What's in our vault? I don't know. Let's find out. I can't hear the alarms. No other game would have such an epic, silent climax. The like buffeting. Oh, it's creepy. The telescope. All right, that's an elevator. I thought I would let me look through the thing. Another artifact. The lit, a lit flame. Broken antler! I just fucking realized! Talk to the prisoner. Ellipses, who are you? Ellipses. You gonna show me? Oh my. Yeah, talk to me, baby. Let me read. I love the conversations. Who are you? A prisoner, why are you imprisoned? You woke up. You uncloaked the eye. Shit. Oh, the wavering edges of the outside of this make it feel more real than any slide reel that we've seen so far. And then they put it back? Oh my god. They all died over the time. Things withered. Oh, I didn't even. Oh, wow. No, my. Oh. It's so gorgeous, the drawings. The escape pods. One to, uh... That's the interloper. Ah, uh, the ghost matter. Hey, I recognize that ship. That type of ship, anyways.
God, this music. If I am correct, it's remixed the main theme, right? I grow up. Oh. Where the fuck are you going? I thought I was gonna get to get to ask them one another question. I may still. I'm gonna keep going so that I don't know if we'll run out of time here. Those drawings were so beautiful. It was rendered so gorgeously. Let out the signal of the eye for two seconds that the Nomai caught. What do they mean? It looks like we sailed off into the sunset together. I understand. Okay. Oh, man. I'm emotionally exhausted in the best way. So now we know. I understand the full, the full picture, I think. I'm sad that I didn't get to ask the question, where are we? But I think what would have happened if I'd have asked it is I would have gotten the same answer. I don't know that for a fact. On the stranger, the prisoner takes, while everyone is dreaming of, of their homeland, takes things into their own hands and releases the signal of the eye, which signifies, it's that little bit of doubt in my head, right? That maybe what's at the eye is not actually all that bad. Not all, actually completely bad. It confirmed everything I'm so happy we found the ghost matter thing before we found, you know, the end of this. I believe that's probably the end of the uh, Echo of the Eye DLC. I have the I have Echoes of the Eye DLC. If I had to guess. What a game. What a game. What a fucking game. What an absolute fucking game. I'll... I think it's a perfectly acceptable choice to shut down the Ash Twin Project, to seek the big old question mark in the middle of the in the not not in the middle but in the in the depths of space that is the eye of the universe and to see what happens with infinite possibilities uh being observed i think the thing that makes the most sense is just go straight to the vessel on dark bramble put in the coordinates head for the eye of the universe and see what happens the thing is at that point in time the minute we re we remove it the clock is fucking ticking not to reset the time, but to not die to the supernova ing of the sun. The big question on my mind is if in any way, shape, or form, it is worth it to try and rescue anyone or convince them to come with me. I don't know that it is. I think probably everyone is, everyone is, is lost. All right, here we go, baby. Middle of the thing, middle of the thing, middle of the thing. Okay. Yeah. Incredible. Oh, this music. Oh man. This represents such a such a huge like step we can't step back from, right? It went absolutely all dark. Is that new music? There are no more time time loops. I think the only fair thing is stopping by Gabro. At least. At least, right? Is it dumb to go for Gabro? I don't know. Oh man, I hope it might be. It might be. But I have no regrets. Gabra's the only I've always felt so alone in this in this world once I knew that I was time looped. God, it is so hard not to feel like everything is ending right away with that remix of the theme. Okay. Gabra, a few loops ago a cyclone came by and tossed my little island into space dying, like that was kind of unpleasant. What's up? Uh nothing. I found the source of the time loop. What would you happen if you turn it off? There's a part of me thinks you shouldn't. There's some blowing up and all. 
Gabro, you don't have anything for me? You don't want to go? I respect it. You do know where to find me. Goodbye, Gabro. Okay, pop in. Pop in. Okay, stop burns before you get in. Yep. I think I have like three minutes. I can't really look around. Go. No, 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 no. They didn't eat the ship, but I was so fucking scared. 800 meters, burn true. Come on, baby, please go. Please, dear God, insert warp core. We are out of here. Upper right. Okay, so we go upper right. There's one. Oh, I thought I, I, thought I fucked it. Go! We are truly, I think, 30 seconds away. <laughs> it's like it's like heat lightning in the summer probably are right about this time all of the hearthians and uh everything that the nomai built and uh and everything is gone i think i think probably right about now that's probably the <laughs> Let's go! We've made it to the eye of the universe. What is the game going to tell me? I need to get off of these fucking cracks and stuff. How is the game going to handle this? What sort of narrative is it going to give me from here? Here goes nothing. Shards? I can keep moving. The lightning makes things exist for a second and then in the darkness they cease to exist. It's it's like the embodiment of the of the like infinite possibilities. Oh this just makes me think of soul in them. Who I miss. Let's do this together, shall we? You and I? Don't you fucking do this to me, game. Come on. Outer Wilds Ventures was founded by Feldspar, Gossen, Slate, and Hornfels to explore a solar system at the end of the universe. The Nomai never got to see it for themselves. But thanks to their efforts and technology, a Harthian was able to reach the eye of the universe. It's phrased perfectly, by the way. It's got the heartbreak in the first half of the sentence. God, I'm going to be on the edge of tears for the whole rest of the video. Prepare yourselves. This species traveled from a nearby star system in search of the eye of the universe, but horrified by what they discovered, decided to block the eye's signal so that no one else would ever find it. One individual, however, rebelled against the decision and was able to briefly release the eye's signal back into space before being caught and imprisoned in solitude for this betrayal. God, it's so silent. It's so good. The Nomai who came to our solar system were following a signal from the eye of the universe. They perished when the interloper arrived, bringing with it the most death deadly substance we called ghost matter that flooded the entire solar system almost instantly and without warning. Oh, God. 
I said observe. The eye. The supernovaing of countless stars. Whoa. What am I looking at here? There's like, uh, that's leaves. I'm seeing leaves against trees. Yo. Yo. I'm tiny. Heavy breathing. That's me. Don't you do another fucking puzzle to me, gamer. Don't you do this, game. Will I ever roast a marshmallow? Are you shitting me? Yes, I will. How you like them? Who am I roasting it for? Me? Oh. Alright, I better stick it in there a little bit longer. Oh shit, it burnt. It was too long. It doesn't have the option to doze off, which I find very interesting. Esker? Do you hear music? Best music in the game right here. I love that the light is once again a method of the storytelling. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Goes to nothing. Gather up the banjo. Yo, <laughs> yeah, let's go. It's uh it's not quite time yet. I'm pretty sure we'll need the others for this next part. We'll need, you know, everyone. No rush, take your time, it might not even exist here. <laughs> oh man. Oh, I just zoom in on it. There we go. What was I listening to there? Listen, you can't make noise. You can't make noise. But also, if you turn off your light, that helps. Hatchling, you found me. Nice to have company around a campfire, isn't it? Go on, get the others. Wouldn't want them to miss out. Across old bark. In the ancient glade. This is so emblematic of the game in general. Which is like the... Interactive media. It's always dark. There we go. Hey, time pal. So you're getting the band back together, huh? I tried to get you to come with me, Gabbro, you motherfucker. Go on, go find the others. I'll be here. You don't need me yet, but you will. Redacted. Oh. A slide reel. Remove the dirt. Memento to different Harthians. Memento to some of the redacted. Memento to Nomai. I think I have to extinguish all three and go through the door. <laughs> yeah, it's so fucking creepy. <laughs> oh, I was ready for it and it still creeped me out. Oh, buddy. They're going to be like, who invited the new guy? <laughs> who invited the new guy? When my kind found the eye and realized what it was capable of, they were terrified. It was too difficult a truth. Like a light too bright to look upon directly, it burned them. That's truly the perfect description of what I got from the slide. What they could not unlearn was hidden away in darkness, obfuscated, then lost. They did not want to see their story end. I did what I could to set things right, yet I am still of my kind, and you know what they did. I cannot promise our fear won't stay in your mind. Are you certain you want to remember me? Or I'm not ready to decide. I'm not ready to decide. I have one more piece of information that I would prefer to get before I make this decision. But if you want me to decide now, I'll choose. Every decision is made in darkness. Only by making a choice can we learn whether it was right or not. I will wait until you are ready. I'll be back. 
That was fucking awesome. What the fuck? That was so cool. Good thing I know how to drive one of these. Uh, it's this way, right? Nope. Is it just in the middle? Nope. It's this way, right? It's literally the opposite of the way that I thought it was. Good thing I don't know how to drive one of these. Will it be my friend? Who will it be? Who will it be, do we think? Hypothesis. Everyone must be here before we can begin. Once they arrive, I believe we'll be ready for the next step. I'm glad you remembered me. Can't wait to play with the whole group again. Can I start? Yeah, let's make some beautiful music. I won't let you down. Should I get on the old harmonica? Yeah, you should. Here goes nothing. What do you say, time buddy? Let's hear the music, Gabra. Solonim, if you would. A conscious observer has entered the eye. I wonder what happens now. You don't, I guess, make the music? Is it time to find out? Yes. The song is new to me, but I'm honored to be a part of it. Ryback, should I begin? Yes, you should. You got it. I'll do my best. Hi, friend. The music, dude. I hadn't dared to hope that anyone would hear the signal for how briefly I set it free. Yeah, here we are. Are you ready for the final step? Yeah. It's time. Time to send our spark into the darkness. This is so fucking cool, dude. I've just cared so much about this world and these people for so long. I believe we've reached the end of our journey. All that remains is to collapse the innumerable possibilities before us. Are you ready to learn what comes next? Oh yeah. It's tempting to linger in this moment while every possibility still exists. Unless they're collapsed by an observer. There'll never be more than possibilities. I hear you. The past is past now, but that's, you know, that's okay. It's never really gone completely. The future is always built on the past. Even if we don't get to see it, we won't get to see it. But it's time for something new now. It's different than I had envisioned. Whatever happens next, I do not think it is to be feared. All right, friends. Breathing just stopped, I think. <laughs> what a game, dude. Holy shit. A new Big Bang is what that feels like. And I got to be there for it. Shout out to Alex Beecham. Shout out to Lone Vernell. Holy cow. Far more positive and optimistic an ending in terms of outcome than I would have guessed. I had, uh, I think possibly because where I started with my hopes in this game, in terms of like, can we save the universe, etc., was so far from where I, where I was at right before the beginning of the episode, which is that like, we're fucked, but I can save myself. And maybe in the eye, there is a, a faint hope. <laughs> where we are now which my reading of is like what in some ways the least important thing for me uh right now is what actually happens right at the end there but i think the reading of what actually happens in my perspective right now sitting here two seconds after it happened to me is is by leaping into the place that contained so much quantum possibility the eye of the universe like we saw uh we had a sort of choice in what we chose to observe and what we got to choose was related to what we'd brought with us in terms of memory and 
and decisions we'd made and etc and uh so that's that's on on a what happened level that's my reading which is all beautiful and gorgeous and cool and in some ways the least important thing about what just happened which was that what i feel mostly so fucking thankful for <laughs> is that that is an ending that uh that pays homage to so much of what we spent our time how do you end a book right you write a novel you write a hundred thousand words of character development and changes and realizations and and plot points and all of that stuff right and then you have to find a way to land the plane to land the ship and what you want in an in an ending in my goal and in, in my perspective as a writer at least is like you want something that suggests both forwards and backwards you want something that suggests forwards how will the care when the, when the time when the clock stops ticking on the game or the, sorry the book what will happen in the future based on what the characters have learned over the course of the book or what's happened to them and you also want something that suggests backwards that gives new meaning to all of the stuff that happened at this very start at the all of that and that ending from the museum uh exhibit to my moment with the prisoner suggested 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 like uh added importance to everything that i'd done and suggested so much about what was what was to come um with a sort of new the way i read it is a new a new universe um a sort of creation event i don't know i don't know. what do i say right now dude? i have a, i have a new favorite game i've been telling people for like a week anyways but like uh i play a lot of video games these days but like i i never played a video game like outer wilds um and i hope someday that uh i get to play another one like it but for now i'm just this is my favorite game like i uh i've never felt so so spoken to in terms of tone content thematic like on every level i felt spoken to and treated thank you for making it thank you for making it uh yeah i've, I've been so emotional this whole fucking episode and i apologize I, I don't apologize um <laughs> they're bug people yo they're bugged it's right behind my camera so you can't see it but they're like they're like bugs and uh something from star wars sort of and totems in the background and flying spaceships in a campfire incredible Hey, thanks so much for watching the last hour and a half of me playing Outer Wilds. If that wasn't enough for you, I am here to tell you at the end of the video, surprise, this is an announcement for you, uh, that tomorrow at 3 p.m., you can also watch me play every single other ending of Outer Wilds. We have a bonus episode for you happening tomorrow. I'll see you then. Bye.